Ballroom Blitz 6 here again, back with some networking stuff. Uh, this is probably my last speak about, and no spoil about me actually doing it. I did it on the last day in the state before, but I show y'all how to do network. I haven't done it now because I don't have a virtual media or an optical media or a dummy PC or laptop or desktop like I did on the last day. But anyway, when you set up your internet, you need to have a game plan down. This is for a small business or security setup. Usually, in today's hack, it depends on your location, how you get hacked and stuff. Most of the time, as a small home business owner, usually the people in the immediate area. The very first people that hack me are the government, that I know for sure. And then GCI, dumb people. I told them before, I'm a computer science engineer, network administrator, security administrator, computer program, build electronics, school, and work in the past. So, whatever. GCI, and then everybody in the area, whether they over there, over there, or in a car right down there on that street, or down there in a car down there on that street, either on a highway, parked down there, I don't know who they take me for, or parked right behind me, I don't know, who knows, they probably want me out of the city, now I gotta stay here even more for, more so, mmm, I love putting my body back together again, anyway, when you set up your internet, <clears throat> as yourself and stuff, or anything else in general, it depends on how you set up as. For a server or a, a data center, there's data center and cloud centers. Data centers on a large scale is a multitude of companies that have their servers, which is a hard drive that have information in it. The hard drive or servers can be an email server that hosts the programming for emails. It can be a web server that hosts their website and application, or it can be a file transfer protocol server. It can be any form of servers that meant for that specific person or individual company or business. You can make your own server, like a gaming server, to, to bring in port and send out port and stuff. Basically, a server is nothing more than a storage of data, and how you set up your server, it can send out data, it can receive data, it can pull up data, it can locate specific data. How you configure your network with your router, your switches, your modems, your freaking wire you use, the material you use, how far are you going and come in and out, what are the security protocols you have set up for that. As well as how your firewall is set up, what computer operating system you use. Microsoft is the easier hack because everybody has Microsoft. This is why I buy Mac or Apple computer most of the time. Um, there are C, 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 there's Linux, Unix, Ubuntu, Python, which is why I make my own operating systems. And there's next level of your, the next level of configuration where you have port addressing where you can make Pacific ports come in and then there's URL filtering where you can make a Pacific website come in that's firewall filtering does freaking packet sniffing for you can defend against that but there's also people who could do that for, for me wise most of my hacks come from people close in the area and then it spreads out first then it spreads out further but any other area when as in setting up a small business network you have to know how you configure it. <clears throat> configuration as an ISP internet service provider you have to get the business license and all that stuff. <clears throat> DDoS is one of the most easier thing to do because it's using multiple dummy servers to hack but anyway I'll be right back.